Bees are my thing, and I'm here to teach you all about them. Welcome back to another episode of Forestry Bee Tutorial. Such an original name, right? <laughs> anyway, today we're going to learn about basic mutations, and what mutations are is when you add a... If you... <sighs> hold on, let me reword this. If you take... One bee and mix it with a different kind of bee, it makes a separate kind of bee different from the other two. So, what you're going to need to start this is your bealizer. And, yeah. And of course, you may have, I forgot to tell you this in the other one, but you need some honey to put in your bealizer so that you can read stuff. Now that you have your bealizer, you need this, by the way. This here is the tool that is going to be on you at all time. Don't, uh, what is it? I don't even use it. I don't even know what the name of it is. Uh, but I know it's bad. Trust me. There's a machine that you can put this in. Hold on. Let me just... This. Wait, no, not that. I... Just don't. Just... I'll tell you later, I don't even know what it's... They might... They probably just got rid of it. Because it was dumb. You put things in the box and it didn't do anything. Alright. Anyway. So, again. This is... Uh, without a frame, we'll get into frames in a second. You can see we've got a Meadows Queen in here. But what is special about this Meadows Queen is that she is mixed with a forest princess or not a princess a forest drone now what this does is it causes a weird mutation and it's going to mix and create something new the chances of it getting something new are pretty slim especially without frames you need to have a lot of patience if you're going to work with bees so this no frame. Uh, one second, I lost something that I need to get back. Got it. Okay, let the frames catch up. Come on now, let's go. All right, moving on. Now, you have these different frames, and each frame does something else to the mix. This one has no frames. It's not going to help this mutation at all. It's just going to kind of mix together and make it a... Meadows Forest. We don't want a Meadows Forest, okay? Uh, healing Frame. A Healing Frame adds 1.5 lifespan, 0.75 production, and 0.5 mutation rate. So this is going to give you better mutation, better production, and better lifespan. Not much mutation, but 0.5. You can add all of it and it'll add up to 1.5. They stack. Alright, let's get these running. Bam! Those are running now. Soul frame. These are my favorite. I like the soul frame, and this one's actually running too. Uh, <laughs> uh, it has 1.5 mutation rate, 0.75 lifespan, and 25 production. 1.5 mutation rate. Stacked. Mm hmm. That's pretty dang good. You can start. Now we have resonant frames, and this guy adds 0.75 lifespan, 0.75 production, 0.5 era for special effects such as potions, flammable. Bees can have special effects, right? And this will kind of make it better, more uh, prominent. So if you have like an XP bee, you want it to give you XP, uh, put these in there. But, uh, yeah, you can go. Chocolate frame. You can usually find these in uh, your, uh, whatchamacallit, the villages. You find these in the villages a lot. And this is just uh, 1.5 production and 0.5 lifespan. So there. We got them mutating. Now you're probably asking, all right, I've been uh, mutating my bees, but I'm getting nothing but just mixed. I don't know what's going on. Just be patient. You'll get one eventually, trust me. 
Use the sole frames. They're really super easy to get. It's just that impregnated frame, which is impregnated sticks, which is just this and a carpenter. Very, very, very simple. Let's bring it back to daytime. But what am I getting at, you're saying? What am I going for? What is... What bees do I need to get the diamonds, to get the platinum, to get all that stuff? Well, that's right over here. I created this giant chart for you. It didn't need to be this big, but it just kind of turned out to be that big. Um, but I put together this chart, and you're going to want these two things. This is pollen, and this is royal jelly. What these make are alvearies and we'll get into alvearies in a later episode but right now i want you to gather these two resources from your bees these are very 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 important you're probably getting excited and you're going to be like i want to move on i want to move on i'm going to start doing more things to the tree don't trust me there'll be a new video faster than you know it um you'll find out soon enough but if you start going on with just this, you're not going to get very far, and your bees are going to get all screwed up. So, let's walk you through this little chain here. If you mix a hive bee and a hive bee, which is what we're doing right now, you're going to get a common. This doesn't happen all the time. Uh, hold on, let me pull up my chart. I've got all of the percentages here. Here we go. Actually, a hive and a hive bee has a 15% chance. With the soul frames, it'll add, well, it'll take away, no, it'll add more percentages. My bad. Uh, 1.5 to be exact on each one, so it's still not that great. But anyway, let's keep her going. A common and a hive bee, which is what you get from here, a common and a hive bee equal a cultivated bee. And that is a 12% chance it went down. The percentage went down. Now, once you have your cultivated bee, you're going to be like, Oh, dear, my bees are getting screwed up. I don't know what to do with them. Have no fear. Hunter's here to help you with that. Why is this not... No f what did I mix you with? I can't remember what I mixed you with, but you... He's not gone. You gonna go now? That doesn't really matter. Um, make a chest, and when you analyze your bee, which I will show you once uh, this guy's done. Oh, it is done. Uh, analyze your bee. If he has a purebred, here I'll grab you. I'll show you what a purebred is. Check this out. This guy is not a purebred. He is a common forest, not a purebred. A purebred would be a common common. Let's see if this guy is a purebred. He is not a purebred. Let's see if this guy is a purebred. This guy is not a purebred. All of these are mutts. I call them mutts because they are mutts. These can get tossed, or you can take. Oh, you could take these two, since they're both uh, common forest hybrids. You can actually combine them together without a frame. So take the frames out, and then put them back in, and you might get a purebred out of it. Okay, so when you have purebreds, and you're like, I don't want to get rid of these. My suggestion is, and I always do this, and you'll see this in the next episode, uh, or the next season of uh, The Lovely War, is I'll make a chest that says, purebreds do not use unless you want to duplicate. So I'll put them in the chest there. And I will never touch them. I'll, well, I'll touch them, but I'll only do it to get more drones out of it. Like, I'll set up that uh, automated system that's over here, over here, and I'll just keep getting uh, bees out of it if I run out of drones. Um, but make a chest with all of your purebreds in it, okay? Then make another chest and say, purebreds that I can use. So... You'll have your pure beds that you don't ch touch, and you'll have your pure beds that you'll use, and then to make another chest, mutts. Those you can. I used to throw away all of my uh, mutts. Now I keep them, and you'll understand why we keep them in a later episode. <laughs> 
All right, so let's continue the chain. So once you have your cultivated, now you move on to the next step. This is a big step in the breeding uh, process. So if you mix a common and a cultivated, you can get a noble or a diligent. You're most likely going to get a noble. A diligent is a little more rare. I believe the diligent is a 10% chance, and this is a 12% chance. So you're going to get the noble most often. Once you have the noble, we'll start with the noble branch. You're going to want to mix the cultivated and the noble. See the pattern going on here? You mix it with the last generation of B. You're going to want... Uh, let me do... You're going to want to mix the cultivated and noble. You'll get a majestic. So you have the majestic. You're going to mix the majestic and the noble to get an imperial. Once you have an imperial, two purebred imperials. Again, they need to be purebreds because if they're not, they just... They just won't work. They won't give you what we need. All right. So the Majestic and Noble give you an Imperial, and the Imperials give you Royal Jelly as an output. So just like this is producing Honeycomb, the Imperial Bee will still produce Honeycombs, but in a different slot there will be a Royal Jelly in there. And you're going to want Royal Jelly. That's very important. Over on the bottom of the Diligent Tree... You have a common and a cultivated equal a diligent, a, di a cultivated and a diligent equal an unweary, and a diligent and an unweary equal industrious, and the industrious gets you pollen, and pollen is also used for alviaries, which we will get into next episode. Uh, that's a little more advanced, but this is a lot to take in. I have a website that I look at a lot for reference, so I'm going to post that in the description below. You can go check that out if you need a reference to the branch. This is a lot to take in, and it's a lot to remember. Um, all of this breeding stuff, I, I must have mixed the wrong bee with this guy, uh, but this guy's done. See how it didn't really make... A mutation uh, well it did Let's see how bad it is see, every one of these will be mixed and not what we want it won't even give you a comment out of that use the soul frames please it will help you a ton anyway guys that's gonna do it for this episode this is a lot to take in I just want you to go out and get a ton of this stuff Trust me, by next episode, you won't have, you'll, you won't have any, you won't have enough, if any. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. But, yeah, this is, this should keep you busy, trust me. You need, you need a lot of patience to do bees. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great night, day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Next episode, we're going to talk about alviaries and the, the, Huge advantages it has over these apiaries. This is Mountain Goats. Peace out.